Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. So today Capricorn, you guys got seahorse spirit in reverse. Watch and wait, number 53, but in reverse. What's interesting here is that you have an 11 to a 22, so you have a doubling of energy. I feel like you made a decision here to cut somebody off with the whip. The whip is like, you know, I kind of feel like a drastic thing, like a very like fast action, something that was very, maybe even unfounded. Um, and I feel like now you're looking at that choice that you made and you're like, why did I do that? Like, I feel a lot of regret here with the, let's read what this is in reverse because I feel like that's going to help you understand what's going on here. It says, are you holding on to judgment? Sure that your perspective is the only correct way to look at things. There are as many perspectives as there are creatures in the sea. And when seahorse spirit appears, you are reminded to detach from the experience so you can view it from more than one angle. Pay attention to your hidden beliefs and how they affect the way you think, feel, and act. Are you being fair to all involved or do you need to step back? You see what I'm saying? I feel like these are the perspectives, right? Like this crossroads is the perspectives. This is like all the perspectives that there are. I mean, obviously there's more than five, right? But like in, in reality, I feel like there's a lot of perspectives and you just went really quick, like cracked the whip down and we're like, nope, it's my way. Or it's like only the way that I see it is the right way. And that's not right here, Capricorn. They're trying to tell you like the way that you see it is not the only way to see things. <laughs> um, your perspective is not the right. It doesn't mean that it's right or wrong. It just it is. It's just one perspective in a field of many. Um, and someone here, I feel like, is now in regret of something that they did because it's like, you at that time didn't view it from anyone's angle but your but your own. And now you look at things and you're like, wow, um, there could have been a different way to do things. Like, why did I do that? So yeah, Capricorn, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting regret, but let's see. Um, let's pull more cards. I'm also getting that you could have water in your chart because when I get the seahorse, I get a king of cups energy. So you might have Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in your chart. But yeah, let's pull some cards. I almost said cancer. You might have cancer in your chart. Anyway, let's pull some, or you might be dealing with a cancer. Anyway, let's pull some more cards, Capricorn. So Capricorn, you guys might have some fire in your chart as well as water. I was getting water here. Um, and that is, again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But now um, I'm getting a king and queen of wands a lot out here. I have the emperor and empress out. So I have a true pair. And then I have the king and queen of wands out um, with the death. So again, and I, I have you guys here twice because I have a queen of wands here again. Wisdom with the queen of wands, right? So... You could have Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart. They might have Aries, Leo, Sag in your chart. We have Aries here. Um, and then we have Libra here with the Empress. What I'm getting with this read is that you were very quick to cut somebody out. You were very quick to make a decision on this person. Um, and you shouldn't have been because now you're sitting in regret. And again, I feel like you only saw your own perspective here. I feel like you only saw, you, you know, your what you wanted to see you didn't see it from like their angle you saw it from yours only and i'm getting i'm dealing, i'm talking about the masculine and yeah look at you you put an end to a situation with this queen of wands with the death card and this is a uh, this was a soulmate with the two of cups but yeah and this person brought you a lot of happiness with the sun this two of cups brought you happiness that's what i'm getting this 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 person actually brought you so much happiness in your life but you decided to not put effort into it because of something that you thought or something that you saw or you thought you saw or whatever you whatever again you held on to something and you held on to it so tight um and that's what i'm getting with this read like again you made an unbalanced decision about this empress um with temperance in reverse 
um, and you didn't see the truth of the situation. Um, I think you thought you did, though, because the Emperor is upright and the Ace of Swords is upright. Um, or I think you thought you were acting very justly, but instead I feel like you were acting very harshly. Again, whatever this decision was, it was very cutthroat, right, with the Ace of Swords. This is like, you know what? Like, that's it. You severed a tie with someone, that's what I'm getting. You severed a tie like it was nothing. Um, and now I feel like you're like, shit, like I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? What I'm getting with this Capricorn is that this soulmate was put into your life for a reason. There was a lot of unbalanced energies within you. Again, you could say like, well, there was unbalanced energies within them. Okay, like, again, this is your reading. We're talking about you. See, I feel like that's the energy that you have, though. You're like always pointing the finger at them, right? Like I was literally going to talk about you and the things that you have imbalanced within you at that time and why this whole cycle happened. And immediately it was like, well, what about them? Like they weren't an angel, like they weren't a saint, like they did this, this, and that. That's what I'm trying to say. Like you're still literally fighting them. <laughs> Holy shit, Capricorn. You really need to like dig deep into the fact that, yeah, they fucked up maybe, and maybe you fucked up, right? Like maybe both of your hands are not clean, but this is your reading and we're talking about you. And if your ego right now is so freaking like strong that you can't, you still like, you're still like probably blaming them for everything. <laughs> Like you're literally not looking at yourself. Like let's take a look at you because we have the destiny card here, right? So this was bound to happen due to the due to the fact that you the energy that you're sitting in is incorrect. So due to the fact that you're you're sitting in King of Wands energy in reverse, King of Cup energy in reverse, Chariot Emperor energy in reverse, all these reversals on your side. <laughs> we're not talking about your person right now. We're talking about you. You're the, you need to learn that it takes two in a relationship and also that it's not like just all one person's fault. And if you keep putting the blame on everyone in your life except for yourself, you're never gonna learn, right? And maybe you haven't learned and maybe that's why this reading is here because you're still in this reversed energy. Um, the whole point of the soulmate, it's like everything was in vain if you're not gonna get the point here. And the point here was that you can't just put blame on everyone but yourself. Right, you cannot do that. That's not. That's not. That's not literally like. A, <laughs> I wanted to say a grown-up thing to do. It's not. It's like a child. Like a child. Like you know, when two kids get caught, like I don't know, taking candy, like the Halloween candy from the closet or something that the mom hid. It's like, oh, honestly, <laughs> um, I feel like you're not from where I'm from because you can't just put blame on everybody. Like where I'm from. <laughs> They have like all these sayings, right? Like snitches end up in ditches, right? And shit like that. Like you can't be a snitch. You can't be like a rat. You can't be like putting blame on others but yourself. So you're definitely not from New York. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Whoever this is here, you're not from New York. There's no possible way. Because you would have learned this lesson a long time ago and you would have gotten beat up at the playground. <laughs> That's literally what I'm getting here. So I'm definitely talking to someone that's not from... I mean, I know that, right? That really narrows it down, right? No. <laughs> But yeah, you're definitely like, I don't know where you're from, but you need to learn when to take responsibility for your actions. And that's something maybe your parents didn't teach you and I don't know why. I don't know if you're like the favorite child and like they always let you get away with shit. But this isn't the place where you're gonna get away from shit. You made a fucking mistake. You didn't see things the right way. And destiny here is telling me that the reason that this all had to happen was so that you could learn something and you can turn the wheel. Turning the wheel is a really big thing and it could be a really positive thing in your life but I see you still not doing it because the wheel turned and you're still sitting on the wrong side of the wheel so yeah and the fact of the matter is that like it's not just this person's fault you were very imbalanced you were very much not reciprocating energy like you were also imbalanced yourself like there this blame is not only on them this blame is also on you right and if again they wanted you to leave this relationship so that you could see that so that you could see that they wanted you to make the mistake so that you could learn from it but again if you're not going to learn from it then this was literally pointless and again that that happens in life right we have so many people walking around that have lesson after lesson after lesson they don't learn it so yeah you're seeing that your wish fulfillment was with this person and it's causing a tower moment um, it's causing you to look back into the past. It's causing a lot of regret um, that you should have put work into something that made you happy at the end of the day. You should have put work into something that you could have like had, but instead you pushed it away and you put the blame on someone else. And you're not, you're still sitting here in reverse energy and you're trying not to think about the fact that you messed up. 
Let's pull a uh, Divine Feminine. Yeah, so you have Khadija, the mother of believers. I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. So I feel like Khadija comes out when we have like a scarcity mindset or a codependent um, relationship, codependency in our lives. So some of you might be codependent. That's what I'm getting. Um, yeah, I'm getting, I always get Khadija with codependency, right? Like, but it's a weird way that you're, yeah, you're codependent. Maybe you are codependent on things in life. Like, I'm, I don't know your life. Again, like, I do have the Nine of Cups here. So maybe some of you guys drink to an extent where, you, you know, that's like, it's actually, you're codependent upon alcohol at this point. What I'm getting, though, is like, you're codependent. Your dependency on this person to make them the bad guy um, is, it's, it's like, it's like, you have to have them be the bad guy. Because if not, then you have to look at yourself and reflect within and understand that like you have also some part in this whole game and in this whole thing. There is, you know, you were not acting in the right energy as well. Right? With the King of Cup in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse. These are not positive energies, right? But if you can't accept that, then you're not going to, again, this can come from a lack mentality. This can come from a scarcity mindset. Like you don't have enough on, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Um, in this type of instance, I feel like you're dependent on them being bad again, because you can't face the fact that it could be you that's wrong. Um, and you need to have the pain. It's like, you have to have it framed in the sense that they're the wrong one, like, or you can't literally continue. They're telling you to throw that away to take some responsibility for your actions and that it's all going to be okay. Like, it's fine. We all fuck up. We all make mistakes. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. The end of the world would be if you continued in this manner where nothing was your fault and you just lived life like, you know, everything is everybody else's fault. Again, if some of you guys drink, this is probably where that comes from. <laughs> like that subconscious energy that you have, like eating away at you. <laughs> like you wonder where it's coming from while well, you're repressing a lot of your feelings. So if you're repressing, then again, think of like coping mechanisms that you use, right? Are you in denial? <laughs> Are you acting out? Are you projecting? <laughs> Are you repressing? Like literally, like if that is the case, then you have to understand that this all comes from this inner place that needs to be healed. And that's why the soulmate was put upon you in your life so that you could work through these issues so that you don't have to stay in this energy for the rest of your life. It actually just makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Like again, your, th your thought is in reverse. You don't wanna think about it. You don't wanna look at it. You might be drinking just to hide that pain and to hide those feelings. And it's just like, for what at this point? Like it's not even worth it at this point. Like this person is already out of your life. So what do you have to lose? I feel like you're like, well, then I have to look at myself yeah you have to look at yourself it's the most painful thing that's why they say like dark night of the soul and shit like that is like dying because it's like actually more painful than dying right because dying you don't you know some people just die in their sleep it doesn't feel like anything this is actually like having to look at yourself and like be responsible for the actions that you've done trust me not a lot of people do this so it's not like i I mean, I'm not going to judge you if you don't do this or not, but I feel like it would benefit your life in such a big way, especially if you are codependent upon things. Maybe you're codependent not on like drinking. Maybe you're codependent on other things. Maybe you're codependent on relationships. Maybe you move from relationship to relationship very quickly. Uh, maybe you cut people out of your life very quickly. Maybe you're not someone who forgives people quickly. Again, we all have these things that we have to deal with. This soulmate was brought into your life to help you deal with those things. If you can't see the value in that, then you miss the whole point. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Like, don't miss the lesson here because then you're going to have to get it again. <laughs> Why do you want to have the same lesson again? Do you want to meet another soulmate and like fuck it up? No. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Just learn the lesson now. You have wisdom and you have wisdom right here. Like, like learn the lesson, Capricorn. I mean, it is actually very hard, but it's not, it's not hard in the sense that you have nothing left to lose, I feel. <laughs> so yeah. And now I'm hearing, yeah, you have still a lot to lose, but you don't know that yet. And if you continue in this path, you will lose more. So yeah, that's kind of like scary. But yeah, that's what I'm getting Capricorn. I love you guys. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Bye.